Next, I'm going to talk about cavity, a cavity resonator. Um, in particular, I'm talking about here, if electromagnetic energy gets into a box, it will bounce off the walls and produce standing waves, and the box becomes a cavity resonator as a result. At frequencies corresponding to the resonance, these uh, waves will produce high field strengths at some points and nulls at other. So let me draw a box and demonstrate what I mean. Here I've drawn a rectangular box, but let's just consider the face of this box over here with the height and width, and here's the length, but let's just consider the height and width. So if electromagnetic energy gets in there somehow, let's say it's a metal box, but there's a hole there and the energy gets in somehow. Here on this face we may see uh, one mode of propagation, which may just be something simple like this. So at the boundaries there's going to be zero, and at some height in the middle there's going to be uh, some some non-zero electric field, or let's say it's like this. That's a different mode of propagation, and at the boundaries again it's zero, but at other points in the box it's going to be non-zero, and at some points it'll be peaks, and there's another null here in the middle. Well, how can we describe this situation? Here's an expression through which you can do it. The fre let me just state it and then I'll walk through it. The frequency in megahertz of a resonant frequency equals 150 times the square root of k over l quantity squared plus m over h quantity squared plus n over w quantity squared. Okay, this l, h, and w are the height, width, and length in meters, so in meters, and k, m, and n are just integers, so they're not, they're, they're zero, po zero or positive integers, so they can be zero, one, two, three, and so on. For this expression, only one of the integers can be zero at a time. So, for instance, k and m would be one, n would be zero, so for one, one, zero, or k could be zero, m could be one, n is one, and so on and so forth. So in the case where we have one of the integers as zero, we're talking about just the face of a box, just just a 2D box. When we're talking about all the integers being non-zero, we're talking about a, a, a 3D volumetric object. Let's consider the case where k equals one, m equals zero, and n equals one. This is gonna correspond to transverse electric mode 101, which you'll sometimes see written transmission lines or cavity resonators. Uh, it applies to all that kind of stuff. Uh, this is the lowest possible resonant frequency for the box. As I said, it's a 2D face of the box, and it could be 101, like it's shown here. It could be 110 or 011. Those are all the lowest possible resonant frequencies for the box. For a cube, k equals 1, m equals 1, and n equals 1.